Hi everyone, welcome back to U77. Here we are, Silent Hunter 5, on our patrol. And if you remember last time, we're low on ammunition. We've got three torpedoes left. One in the aft, two in the four torpedo tubes. So, um, we had a bit of a, uh, fun round here last time, didn't we? Sinking those ships in the harbour, then we sunk that ship on the way out here. We're now making our way down the south coast of uh, South America. Or the, the east coast of South America, should I say. Well, it's kind of the top of South America. We're moving. We're, we're, anyway, we're, we're going this way. <laughs> Rather than getting dragged down by you, which exactly where we're going. We're going southeastish down the um, Venezuela's coastline. And what we need to do is actually see if we can get a resupply. So let's have a quick chat with Wolfram. First port of call. Okay, so we need to go further out to uh, to sea, which I was kind of expecting. So we probably need to get um, out here somewhere. And then I thought what we could do is then head down here. Because this is the um, South America thing. Uh, keep the enemy uh, guessing on the forces for him to dilute his defences instead of concentrate them in one point. Uh, so this has a date of 31st of December 1942. Let's have a quick look at those ones. That's uh, February, yeah. So uh, this is the one attacking this um, convoy route from the tip of uh, Brazil to um, Africa over here, uh, to Freetown. So yeah, I think what we'll do, obviously we're coming down here now, we'll, we'll follow this route line down, try and get a resupply up here near Dakar, and then we'll, we'll try and concentrate on this uh, kind of like supply line across the Middle Atlantic. I think that's next port of call. I think we've done enough in the Caribbean for the moment. We can always go back there but for now I think if we head that way. I'm just going to head over to the um, Cape Verde Islands and uh, hopefully we'll get a resupply if we get up, uh, a little bit closer and a little bit further out to sea. So that's the plan of action. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, we've got the hatch down which is good. You know, in a U-boat it would be useful if we always make sure the hatch is down especially when we dive. Stops any embarrassing moments like when we flooded the conning tower. That was awkward. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, the seas as flat as a pancake out here. But there's nothing on the horizon as yet. As always, if you want to see some more, hit that like button. The more popular it is, obviously, the uh, guarantee that I'll continue to do these videos. If you like Silent Hunter 5 and you want to see some more, you know what the score is. Hit that like button, share with all your friends. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell. Good. Right. We'll press on then. And I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, welcome back. What a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. If you look behind us, you've got the moon, set, the moon going down as well. What a beautiful, what a beautiful place to be right now. Oh, the sun's just gone behind the uh, the cloud. But anyway, we are here, roughly. We got... Oh, no, we need to go this way. Uh, we got the resupply eventually. Uh, and we are almost here, ready to get our resupply. But I just wanted to bring you back for this absolutely beautiful scene. Look at that sun, sunrise, moon setting. Or the moon going over the horizon, should we say. Fortunately, the cloud is, was making it just that beautiful, dramatic god rays coming through the clouds. But um, it's kind of just taking over the scene a little bit. But anyway, it was still, still worth bringing you back for, I think. Right, anyway, so we've got a little bit while now, just only a few hundred metres, well, a few minutes to get down here. Get a reload, get a resupply, and uh, here is that corridor that we want to do. So, um, War in Distant Waters, Third Flotilla. Oh, okay, hang on. Well, we, we can, I think we can hit, um, kill two birds with one stone here. Brilliant. Okay, well, well, we'll do that. We can potentially get two birds with one stone and um, double up the tonnage. Why not? Why not? Why not indeed? We'll get all the medals we can. Uh, so we're going to press on, get a re resupply, and I'll bring you straight back.
Okay, here we are. Just coming up with the resupply ship there. There are the boys. Waiting for us. Lovely. Do they have any guns on this ship? No. I suppose the um they're not being hunted down by the uh, Royal Navy, I suppose. Maybe maybe they are. Uh anyway, it seems a bit dangerous from, you know, aircraft, that's what I'm thinking. Um Right, let's get a refit then. Uh refit. Absolutely lovely. Do we get all steam? We got all steam, but that's fine. Full tank of juice. Excellent. Right now, let's um let's do Yes. There we go. Let's just plop to go behind the ship so we don't ram into it. And then we'll come down here. And where is it that we need to go? We need to come over here. So, Brilliant. Right. The plot has been set. We are going to make our way to the mid-Atlantic to uh, see if we can... Slow speed ahead. Well, gain... Gain... Um, Renowned points on not only uh, distant waters, war in distant waters, but also this one down here, which is the um, South American supply lines. So obviously, if they're coming over here, I'm guessing you know it's anything on around these routes. So anything through this supply route, which will also include this one. So perfect, two for one. I hope that it works out that way. It may not, but that's the plan. Uh, thank you, boys. Take care. Safe journeys. We'll probably see you in a few. Now we're going to rock on towards the sun in few, in uh, in search of our tar next target. So we'll move on and I'll see you in a little while. Hi everyone, smoke on the horizon! Toot toot! Toot toot! Bad news though, it's a friendly, it's a neutral ship. So, <laughs> another day has passed. I've come all, I couldn't find that ship. I've been hunting ghosts, and after days of searching, the only ship I come across is a bloody neutral. Ah, ah well. But we know this must be the shipping lane, so I'm going to continue to um, search around here. Um, it's not part of this. Oh, sorry, it's not part of this um, part here, but it's still part of um, uh, this one down here. So this is the one I'm going to target because I've actually found some shipping down here, which is which is a rare treat. So yeah, we're going to um, search this area. Hopefully, find something we can shoot at. Ah. <laughs> bit choppy but um yeah we'll press on oh it's frustrating but you know we'll get there we'll find something in this long epic te hello personal space bud personal space uh in this long epic um search for a hostile ship good god we may never see a hostile ship again i hope not otherwise uh, we're pretty much screwed but we're gonna press on a little bit longer and see if we can find anything I, I, i've got to find something can't go an entire episode and not actually see a ship which we can shoot at. That'd be just ridiculous, but um, we'll see how it goes. Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got water dripping down my face and I see it appear to be stuck to the ladder, but we're off now. And we've got contacts ahead. Now, we've got a bit of a problem because the waves are so choppy that um, it's kind of um, letting the, t the conning tower be exposed. That's what I'm trying to say, but I can't remember what it is. So we've got a very choppy sea, which means um, half the time we can see and the other time we can't. But look, we got a destroyer, which is leading two ships. I'm thinking we need to get rid of the destroyer first, um, and then we can have a bit of a, a bit more fun with the other ships. Right, so we've got a V a V and W destroyer, not a VW destroyer, we've got a V and W destroyer ahead. Ah, oh, but it's 
and we've got two contacts behind as you can see so range is going to be approximately a thousand meters obviously I've, I've driven I've created a, uh, a thousand meter circle I didn't really need to do that so range is going to be a thousand speed I've calculated at uh, eight knots angle of bow at the moment I can't I'll have to do it by here because it's just it's just horrendous this weather it's real it's a real horrible piggy storm right so she's oh, we'll do slight to the side there you go 53 where is she there she is 53 53 there we go lovely she no, she was locked on um V and W are very torpedo shallow, so we're going to launch two torpedoes. Very shallow. That torpedo one could be magnetic, actually. Um, they're going to be fast. On. Closing tube two. And we'll flood one and two. We're going to fire one as, uh, as magnetic, one as impact, Target and we're going to send them along the surface as fast as we can to try and take this ship out of commission. With the destroyer out of commission, we get a little bit more time to... Um, yes, the convoy ships may um, scatter to the winds, but we got time to hunt them down. But with this guy, if he if we don't destroy him and he gets on our tail, then we, we A, we may die, but if we don't die, then there's a good chance that by the time he's uh, stopped depth charging us, that um, the other ships will be long gone. Right. Getting there very, very nearly ready time to fire. It's very difficult. You're always a little bit worried in these circumstances as well. A million and one things can go wrong. Right, one more revolution. And then we'll target the, uh, the ships. As I say, they may well scatter to the winds. But we can hunt them down without being um, pursued by a destroyer. It's immensely doable. Whereas, as I said earlier, we got the destroyer giving us problems. We are in trouble. Right. Everything is looking okay. Oh, I think it's going to have another revelation. Revolution. Can't stop the children of the revolution. No, you can't stop. I was on the radio this morning. Uh, 71. Target and that's marked. saying 77. Okay. Let's just double check that again. Could be that I did it from a different part of the ship. That's 70. Seven now. Oh God. Target marked. Perfect. Right, tube one, prepare to fire. Fire. Tube two. Fire. Closing tube one. Closing tube two. Torpedoes away. Okay, good hits, good hits. She's gone, she's gone, right. Let's quickly turn our attention to these. Oh, I can't. That one. Look, for some reason, even though I'm selecting that one, this is bugging out slightly, which is a bit frustrating. Right. That target there. Gotcha, locked on, perfect. Now she is dodging. We should have done this maybe before we'd done this. T2 tanker. Oh, beautiful. Range. Uh, speed we know is at 8 knots. Angle of bow. Changing all the time. Angle of bow is. 76. Oh, hang on. 76, yep. Yeah. Target marked. So 
76 perfect range is probably yeah a thousand to us it's gonna be just over a thousand actually let's do uh 1200 ah you bugger 1200 right tubes three we're gonna go fast um impact flood Flooding tube Three. The Oh, that just sneaked in front of it. Oh, you bugger. Right, far four. four. Get these two loaded. Uh, what's that other ship doing? That other ship's banking away as well, but that's a small one. I'm not too worried about that. Let's um, get moving. Oh, that was just a close miss, that one. Okay, that second one has just slipped in front of her as well. Yeah, she's continuing her turn, which has obviously meant that the... Uh, the two torpedoes um, just skimmed past her nose. Well, you know, that's kind of to be expected. They were kind of uh, shots in more hope than um, anticipation, to be honest with you. So, or expectation. So, we're going to press on now. Yes. We're going to stalk these course. two ships. This one, yeah, okay, we'll go for, but Prepare it's the T2 course, tanker I'm really interested in. So we're going to stalk them, let them calm down. I think they've got away from us. And then we'll um, we'll try and set up another ambush. We've got torpedoes uh, 1 to 4 being reloaded. Um, and then we'll take it from there. So uh, while we're here, we can actually have a look at what we destroyed. It was a VNW class destroyer for 1188 tonnes. So uh, yeah, warship tonnage is now up to uh, 3,513. With a merchant tonnage of 147,770. Total tonnage of 151,283 from 26 ships. So, um, oh, we hit something at least. There's that T2 tanker. Where's that other ship? There she is. What are you? What are you then? Uh, my lovely. Right, okay. So that is, let's have a look. What is that? That is a, a small oiler. Oh, okay. Oh, well worth sinking then as well. But um, yeah, we'll let these guys calm down. And then we'll uh, try and ambush them a little bit further down the road. So I'll see you in a few. Hi everyone. Right, we're ahead of them again. They've calmed down for the moment. But they may be able to see our exposed conning tower every few seconds when the waves bloody crash over us. Um, so we've got the T2 tanker. There she is. We know her speed. Her range is going to be a little bit less. In fact, her range will be quite a lot less. Her range will be... We drifted in inside a little bit. We've got 650, 600 metres. So it's half that range that we've um, put on there. Yeah, I'm not going to try, even try and use the stat meter in this weather. It's just pointless. Angle of boo. The boo angle is... There, can you read that? 38. 38 is the answer. Oh. Target marked. Okay, 39. Easy by now. Right, so torpedo tube 1 to 4 has been reloaded. We've got this ship there. It's really, really jumpy. So we're going to go fast. Gonna have it as impact and it's a tanker, so we're gonna go two again fast. The secondary ship, yeah, I'm not too fussed about it. The, the whaler, it would be quite nice, but this is the one we want. Just seeing, oh, I was gonna say, does she have any deck guns? It doesn't really make a difference. It's uh. It's not whether we can get the deck gun out, to be fair. She doesn't appear to have any armaments on her. And she's actually... Well, it's really difficult to tell how deep she's sitting in the water. You can see her waterline here. Um, I'm just going to 
put bring these up a little bit just because with the choppiness of the waves and everything it's just yeah a little bit nervous that we may um probably won't get another chance so you know it's kind of now or never type thingy my T2 tanker let's get recalculating let's just double check the calculations because we're drifting forward as well so it's 55 55 it's clicked over to 57 that's pretty much good um, we have drifted forward a wee bit haven't we so 550 600, 600 I think I'm okay with 600 I'm okay with Right, very shortly we'll be ready to fire. Yes, you should be calculating the things for the second ship as well, but... Uh, nah. Nah! Let's flood one and two. Flooding tube one. The Bevesat. Flooding tube two. The Bevesat. Oh, lost it. Tracking new target! Tube one, fire. Tube one, fire. Two two. We'll wait for this one to click over. No. Torpedo impact. Torpedo impact. Nice. So there's a fire and the big wave. I can't see. Get out of the way, wave. Torpedo is at that, sir. Oh, rubbish. Rubbish. I can't see anything. Right, um... Target marked! Let's fire another one into her, then. Torpedo depth set to three meters. Flood. Flooding tube three. The Bevesat. That's just the, um... The dud exploding as it drifts down. Fire. Torpedo is a dud, sir. Oh my god! Two duds against that tanker. No, 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 no. What is going on? Right. Lost it. Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Tracking you That's target. the small oiler, that one. There she is. Well, she's burning. Um, that oiler is diving away, and I'll just waste a torpedo if I fire at her. I can't believe two duds. Honestly, honestly, what what's it like, eh? What's it like? Um, again, we're going to rinse and repeat. I am going to pretend... Well, not pretend. I'm going to head north. Hopefully they won't see me. Flooding yes. course. Returning to course. Let them... They'll they'll probably head left, right, centre all over the place. Uh, trying to shake me off. But I'm going to go up here and Returning wait for them again. Course. So, we'll see if that tank succumbs to the damage. If not, we're going to press on and hopefully um, catch them further up the road. Again.
Welcome back everyone. Right, things are settling down and that little whaler has um, gone back on a course and as you can see I plotted it and hopefully we're in a position we can ambush it. So let's lock on to that little oiler. Range is going to be just under, it's going to be about 900 mi meters, not miles. I don't think we've got a, a torpedo with enough steam to go 900 miles. It's going to be 950. There we go. So we'll clock that up to 950. No. Oh. Target marked. Silent running. Everybody quiet down. Secure from silent running. 950. There we go. Lovely. Get that logged in. Bearings okay. Speed is eight knots still. Um, Angular boo. Uh, That was 53. 54 now, that'll be fine. We'll let that recalculate when we get a little bit closer. Oh god, there we go. Lock onto it. Uh, we've got, what have we got? We've got torpedoes 2 and 4 tubes loaded. Um, she's, well, she's an incredibly shallow ship. Look at that. Um, so we're going to have to fire on the surface. Set to one meters. Closing tube four. Let go close. Torpedo depth set to one meters. Yeah. So. Target marked. We'll see what it is. In the meantime, um, that T two tanker succumbed to her damage for ten thousand and six tons. Woohoo! Which takes our merchant tonnage up to one hundred fifty-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy-six. Uh, total tonnage 161,289 from 27 ships sent to the bottom. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a challenge Tracking keeping track target. of this one. She's small, the waves are big. Yeah, okay, we're just going to let a bit of time pass and hopefully she'll come a little bit further into our kill zone. Alright, let's quickly just go over the calculations. Whoa, what happened? What? The hell are we? We're down here. Brilliant. Don't you just love it when the game does something crazy like that? And shoves you on the other side of the map. For no apparent reason whatsoever. Obviously just an accident click or something. 85. And we've lost the lock. 80. Okay. We'll probably go back. Ah. There we go. Fire. Flooding tube two. The bevessert. Flooding tube four. The bevessert. Tube two. Fire. Tube two. Fire. Closing tube two. Let's switch to four. One might be enough, but I'm I'm scared that. We're... Target marked. I fired that one early, so if this one duds or misses, I think it's going to miss. Ooh. Tis what tis was a miss. Uh oh, radio message received. Okay, it's not what we, we wanted, right? Uh, fire. Tube 4 is missed as well. Oh! The speed... It suggests that she's slowed down, but the speed we've calculated twice, and it was 8 knots. So... Angler bow was correct. Distance. Have we snuck forward? Oh yeah, 7.50. We've... Oh, shh. Shoot, what a stupid mistake. Right. Rig for silent running. Oh, shut up with your stupid rig for silent running. Tube one. Oh, it's not quite loaded. I'm annoyed with myself, and I'm sure you are as well. So, 
Sod it. What's that going to be? It's going to be about a thousand tons, if that, isn't it? Uh, I can get two torpedoes in the front. Bring, yeah, okay. No, she's got. We're going to let her go. We're going to let her go. I've wasted far too much energy and time today, and that's the problem. I've overrun massively. Right, it's now. I've been doing this for uh, nearly five hours today, and I'm tired and. Um, I can't concentrate on what I'm doing. So, we are going to, on that disappointing note, wave goodbye to this little oiler and say goodbye for this week's uh, Silent Hunter 5 U77 weekly patrol log. You can tell I'm tired. Um, I can't go on anymore. I need some rest. So, you lucky devils, off you go to sail the Never Seas and make, tell the tales of how the T2 tanker and the destroyer were sunk to the bottom. Yes. A long and frustrating day for sure. Oh, shut up. A <laughs> uh, long and frustrating day. You know, the best part of three and a half hours finding absolutely nothing in the sea. And then the last hour or so, we've been uh, tracking those three ships. Two of which we sunk, the destroyer and the large T2 tanker, which was the main target of that uh, convoy. The little oiler, we're going to let go. Can't be bothered. Wasted too much resource already. Um, I'm not. I'm making mistakes because I'm tired. So we're going to call it a day there. Thanks ever so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, despite the frustrations. And I will see you next time for U77's weekly patrol log. I'm struggling to speak. I'll see you next time.